Shay. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. This is Clairvoyant Subject, better known as Destiny 777 Tarot. Hello, Libras. Today's reading is going to be for you guys. Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Placements, and North Nodes. If at the ending of this reading you do find clarity, please be sure to like the reading and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all. Welcome back to my returning subscribers, cross watchers, and welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you all so much for the love and support. Welcome, welcome, guys. All right. So let's jump right into the messages. This is another after dark reading for Le for Libras. So make sure you guys apply the stories how they should be applied. Take what resonates, leave what does not. So I'm right into the messages. So we have the Ten of Cups upright. So Libra, somebody is like focused on your Ten of Cups, or you're focused on your Ten of Cups right now, or this is just what is most important to you right now Libra your happiness your overall happiness your family life your children okay we got the knight of pentacles so there's an african-american man here okay maybe this part this african-american man that i'm speaking to or about that you could be dealing with Libra maybe this person is very focused on their ten of cups having a happy family trying to figure this out trying to have this with someone because at the same time I feel like someone here could be a little stressed out in regards to a ten of cups situation yeah we have the devil okay so there's some monitoring spirit energies or it's because this person has addictions this person has addictions page of pentacles here could be something surrounding money as well so maybe this, this uh, African-American man, this person have Taurus in their chart, or they could be a Taurus Libra. This person has addictions and it's affecting their family life and they know it and they're stressed out about it. Something was exposed recently in regards to this energy and a tower backfire. We have the sun with the tower in the reverse. We have the empress. Okay, so I feel like um, Libra, you could be dealing with a narcissist. Okay, this person could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, any earth sign, or have this in their chart. This person definitely um, knows that they have addiction, knows that they are trapped in their in their addictions as well. We have the five of cups. I feel like this makes this person ashamed or sad, especially if a tower backfired on them recently in regards to your energy. They could be looking at the situation and realizing that it was um, a mistake to even try it, whatever they tried here. Mm -hmm. What's the message of spirit team? So we got judgment reverse coming out here and we have the knight of pentacles the king of pentacles reverse so maybe they tried to do some type of mental magic on it on you empress or, or you tried to do this on an empress recently and it backfired they tried to put this empress up in the up in her head in regards to something to do with this person's addictions so somebody tried to like inflict some type of pain narcissistic abuse 
onto an empress. Yeah, we have attack here. This was attacked. They tried to attack this empress. And the Wheel of Fortune is here. It definitely backfired. The tables definitely turned on this person. King of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone that is lazy. Okay, this is someone that is um, unloyal, unfaithful. Not a good father figure. Let's take a closer look at that King of Pentacles in the reverse for you, Libra. <clears throat> Okay, so King of Pentacles, page 10. All right, so with the King of Pentacles coming out reverse, ungrounded male, unsuccessful businessman, poor. This person has also has poor judgment. They're broke, they're sloppy, they're disloyal, they're unfaithful. Losing your grip on things. Yeah, so this person is definitely losing a lot of money at this time. This King of Pentacles in the reverse. And um, they're probably losing the grip on this empress. They keep trying to inflict narcissistic abuse or pain onto this person. And it's just not working. We have the three of pinnacles in reverse. This could also be some type of group effort here as well. Okay. And something's just not working out for this group or for these people. I feel like um, this group is also turning on each other because this last tactic didn't work maybe. Yeah, something to do with incest is here. The initial D, first, middle, or last is here. 38 and two-faced. So someone in their 30s is definitely two-faced um, to whoever has the initial D or it's vice versa. Something to do with heavy incest here is here in this energy as well. All right, Libra. So let's, let's keep going. Let's clarify this energy. Let's go a little bit deeper. Two of Cups reverse. So, yeah. This could have something to do with this person going through some type of issues with having to end out a karmic situation with this third party energy, Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Maybe they're like stressed out or sad or going through depression or feel at a loss because they had to end out a Three of Pentacles situation with someone else that they probably don't want to end things out with. But at the same time, I don't know. I don't know why they did. This is a narcissist. We don't know what's in this person's mind at this point. But let's keep going. Ten of Cups upright. Ten of Cups upright. Why is this okay. So someone that is um, very emotional. Could be a Pisces here. I don't know, but this this is the page of swords in reverse. This is energy of someone that is like very emotional. Okay, very emotional. It's not this empress energy here because this this empress is in the upright. This is another energy with this page of swords in the reverse. They're begging someone and trying to like plead with someone here. Also throwing tantrums, hissy fits. This is uh, very childish energy as well with this Page of Cups in the reverse. Could definitely be a Pisces. Um, that's in this energy. I also feel like someone could be cloaking their energy. Someone is aware of something. I feel, yeah, I feel like this Empress Upright is aware of something. Something has gotten exposed. Yep, this Empress Upright is aware of something. And because this person is aware of something... It's causing a karmic, a nine of pentacles in the reverse, 
somebody who don't know how to mind their own goddamn business they're so far gone so far fetching somebody else's life and business they don't have time to take care of themselves properly they're not getting their wishes fulfilled so like i said this masculine had to go and end out a situation with a karmic two of cups in reverse that's a karmic that's a false relationship a false twin flame they just recently had to end out a cycle with this person because this empress knows that they have been dealing with this person and this um they could have told this karmic the truth they could have been like look my woman know about what we got going on you gotta go bye type shit like i feel like it was very cold because it has this it, it don't have to be but it has this empress in this this um this uh karmic this nine of pentacles on the reverse person over here and this energy of just like losing their mind screaming yelling crying freaking out like nine of pentacles up there. We got the two of swords. I feel like this masculine could be at some type of crossroads. I feel like they made the wrong decision. Because they don't know how to get rid of this karmic. That could be the reason. This person could feel like they don't know how to get rid of this karmic. This karmic is not... Yeah, eight of cups in the reverse, queen of swords. This is a Gemini. This is a Gemini. This queen of swords, Gemini energy likes to... This person is delusional, okay? <laughs> they don't take care of themselves. They they have they have they're they're so far gone into this masculine and his empress's relationship. Okay, Libra, you're def you're definitely the empress here in this energy, okay, Libra. Um whether you're Libra Sun, Libra uh, Libra Sun or your moon is in Libra. Okay. Anyway, this imp this uh person, this karmic is delusional. Like they are literally Every time this mask going to be like, you got to go, we're done. It's cool. Like, you got to go. This person comes back in in this energy here. Hey, I was just coming to see if he was okay. I was just calling to see. Okay. And this is their way of trying again and again and again. Eight of Cups reverse. This is, this is, this is, yeah, they don't know how to get rid of a karmic, a Gemini. This Gemini is also heartbroken and restless because whatever they did in secret, as far as sex, I feel like it's being exposed. I could be wrong. It could. It don't have to be actual sex, but I feel like it was something to do with it. It's being. It, it's been exposed. Okay, three of swords reverse. They want to reconcile with this person, or maybe they feel like someone promised them some sex. I don't know, but all I know is this energy is literally like. They, 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 this person doesn't sleep okay they, they have not been sleeping at this time because they can't believe that what they didn't they like they they're, i feel like they're still trying to have they feel like they can still have sex with this person in secret like they feel like something is not out there and it's like this masculine is telling this person it's it, um yeah so this so this my empress definitely know about what we did they know about what we're doing they know clarify the devil up right like I said in the beginning of the reading, this masculine is is literally, he has addictions. Yeah, King, King of Cups reverse. This is someone that is at this time, they're emotionally, um, they're emotionally like, they have their emotions turned off right now. They don't have any emotions to give this karmic or to their empress. And that's sad because this empress, this queen of wands upright, they, they don't deserve this. Okay, uh, Libra, you can have Sagittarius in your chart. This person don't, don't deserve this. Okay, and I feel like with this Five of Cups energy here, I feel like this masculine is literally realizing like, yeah, this person don't deserve this. And they're also realizing that um, they can't get rid of this, this karmic. Like this karmic is literally trying everything to force their way in right now. They can't, they can't, they don't know how to get rid of this karmic. Yeah. Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands reverse. This karmic wants to have sex with this person still. They want to have, they can want to continue to have one night stands with this person. They don't want it to be over. Or they want they want this. They don't, you know, they don't want this to like not happen. Page of Pentacles upright. <clears throat> Why is this here? I feel like this empress is like having to suffer because of this person's addictions, and that's messed up. And this person know they're wrong. They know they know it's fucked up, but they don't want to let this person go. But they don't want to heal themselves and work on themselves, 
you know, either. This is like somebody, this is a narcissist. This man is a narcissist. We have strength. So I feel like um two of pentacles reverse, queen of queen of pentacles upright, eight of I feel like this um masculine is trying to like be strong, hold on to his job and his finances right now. But at the same time, he's still trying to find a way to effectively juggle this empress without her knowing. And I feel like it's both of them. It's this karmic and this narcissist. They're literally like somewhere trying to figure out, okay, how can we go around this person? How can we figure this out? How can we, how can we figure it out? Like instead of them fixing themselves and just being together, they're literally trying to figure out how the hell can we keep our situation going and keep her quiet and keep her happy too. Like they're trying to force this empress to stay in a th in a three way situation with them. That's why that that's where that incest energy came from. Like this is, could be somebody in this empress's family, this Gemini. Okay, we have um, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So yeah, they're being warned by the divine that if they juggle this empress, hmm, yeah. I don't see, yeah, I don't see why this, this masculine won't consider this third party and just go off and be happy. I don't see why. They, right now, they're not even trying to fuck the third party. They're ignoring the third party. Be, all because of this temperance energy. All because this person is balanced. All because they're because they're in a marriage. But it didn't stop them before from doing what they're doing. I feel like the only reason why they're trying to stop right now is because they know that this empress is aware. Queen of Pentacles upright. But this side piece energy... Pick me energy is telling them we can still do this. We can still do it. We can still do it. We don't have to like stop. I feel like a cycle is over between this person and this empress. Little do they know it's over. It's over. They, like everybody, these two people, they play God in each other's lives and they gaslight each other and they man manipulate each other because that's normal for narcissists to do that to each other. It's normal, but it's also toxic at the same time. So these people, they live in negative energy, but at the same time, it's like, they they don't know they are not gonna heal because they don't they don't feel like it's wrong in all honesty so this queen of pentacles upright is someone that is very um this person has intuition they know a lot they hold a lot of knowledge that they're not really speaking on they're just gonna sail away and go to karma waters and the divine is telling the, these two idiots over here that I, they're gonna make sure that this queen of pentacles become the queen of pentacles this empress stays the empress sits on her throne and they're going to also make sure that this person sails away and go to karma waters ain't no if ands or buts about it clarify the sun upright yeah ten of cups this person is going to have a happy family this empress in the reverse and it's nothing that this karmic or nobody can do about it. this person is going to be at peace in their life they're going to have this ace of cups their stability their money their home is protected Nothing is going to happen to this empress. The tower reverse. I feel like this is what this karmic was coming for. And it backfired. Yeah, we have the world reverse. That's why this karmic is in this energy of literally this karmic going to fight this empress. Because she's trying to get this masculine to take a leap of faith towards her. I feel like take a trip. Yeah, trying to put an illusion onto this person for them to take some journey. To come back towards them or come towards them. This person is in the Eight of Swords and that's their justice. They're up at night stressed out because they can't get this to happen. This masculine is not going towards them. At this time, at least. So that's why the Empress upright. I feel like this masculine really wants to get rid of this karmic. But it's because this karmic don't have no self-love. This is a narcissist like them. And it's a turn off. And what turns this masculine on is how much... This empress is willing to stand up for herself. She has free will as well. And this empress has self-love. And it turns this masculine on. I feel like he feeds off of this energy from this empress. And he compares this karmic. And try, he probably even tried putting this karmic down. And this karmic still don't get it because they're a karmic and they're narcissists. They, they feel like they... I also feel like this person is going to pretend like they're working on themselves. But they're not. We, um, either way it go, I feel like this masculine is trying their hardest to release this karmic for a cups. I feel like um, this masculine is trying to offer a cup to this empress, but he, he's too stressed out and burdened by his addictions. This person is also trying to grow, but he's failing. He's failing at growing because he keeps going back to this third party. He keeps getting involved with these uh, whores, this unhealthy attachment. Could be friends. 
he keeps getting distracted is what I'm hearing. Yeah, by a third party, by a karmic that keeps trying to reconcile with him. Every time this person tries to grow and heal, he keeps getting distracted away. I feel like he keeps allowing himself. Yeah, seven of pentacles. I feel like he's like figuring this third party out or trying to study them and figure them out. Because he really wants to get rid of this person, but it's like hard. Truce is being spoken about how this masculine um, gave up on his family situation, abandoned it, ghosted it, released it all, and all together to go sleep around with a karmic. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Yeah, he did this to a Queen of Cups upright energy. Someone that didn't deserve this. Someone that's nurturing, loving, and caring. Yeah, this Empress. And now it, it all it did was free this Empress energy, this nurturing mother figure. All it did was free them. It didn't hold them back in any way. This person freed themselves from this cycle. And this masculine is bound and stuck to his addictions and bound and stuck to this third party. This Empress, this Queen of Cups, need to realize that she's free and not to carry someone else's burden. Five of Cups upright. Yeah. Somebody here is heavily burdened in regards to a marriage, a commitment, some type of legal situation. Six of Pentacles reverse. Yeah. Because they, um, yeah, it's this karmic in the reverse. It's this empress in the reverse who thought that she could gain some type of money. Um, he could have also married this person in secret, had some type of spiritual wedding with this person. But we got some uh, King of Swords energy here and Knight of Pentacles upright energy here. Yeah. He did this in secret. We're an empress in the reverse. Six of Pentacles reverse. You hear the firecrackers going off? Confirmation, Libra. This was in secret, and I feel like this masculine is ashamed of what he did, or he feels embarrassed, or he feels like uh, lack, like regretful. I also feel like this empress in the reverse, if that's not the case, this person wants money from this masculine because he's choosing to stay married and not wanting to juggle. But judgment is here for her. The divine is stepping in. She could be trying to blackmail this person into giving her some type of money. There's clarity here. This person is no longer confused about this situation. There's also authority here for this karmic that they really don't um realize. This masculine probably realizes he has the upper hand. He's like, I ain't giving you no money. I'm going to walk away. He probably going to go to the courthouse or go to um a judge or go to a lawyer in secret on this karmic or call the police on them as well. Confirmation. Firecrackers. But this person says they're in this Knight of Cups energy at this time. And I guess they're going back towards their empress. For now, judgment reverse. Um, yeah, so with the judgment reverse, we have the lovers reverse, four of swords reverse. There's a karmic that is pissed off right now and trying to do mind magic, trying to convince this masculine not to end things out with them. A Gemini. This person is restless, they don't sleep. Will the fortune in the reverse? The table definitely turned on this person. They thought they had the upper hand over it's over this masculine, and they thought they had some type of control over this masculine, especially um as far as sex. I feel like I just heard this, this karma thought they put it down in the bedroom or talked it up, something like that. With the Ten of Swords reverse, if they tried to put spell work on this masculine, yes, yeah, a, a love's magic, love spell, it backfired tenfold on this person. It's backfiring. And they're still in the energy of trying their hardest not to get this person to close out a cycle with them to stay in this Knight of Wands energy. Something about the past and the bad memories is what they're using. King of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, we got the Two of Cups reverse. So with this King of Pentacles reverse, Two of Cups reverse, I feel like, yeah, this masculine, is, he's ending out a situation with a karmic, a, a false relationship. And this karmic is sexually frustrated and they're frustrated. Because it's like, they don't want this to end. Ten of Pentacles reverse. And they feel like they didn't get anything out of it as far as money. This is someone that really was just doing something for money. Eight of Pentacles. They put a lot of work into to ending out someone's home, getting someone evicted with the four of wands in the reverse. They put a lot of work into canceling someone's celebrations. They put, they put a lot of work into trying to get someone to um, sacrifice their home situation, their marriage, their happiness with someone else. All for money. The emperor in the reverse. Getting someone to lose control of themselves and give control to them with the page of cups in reverse through sexual offers and gestures and sex. They did it all for money. Not a sword upright. 
We got the two of wands here. Yeah, so this karmic is trying to, yep, this karmic is trying to attack this master. It could be a group of people trying to attack this master because this person is trying to look forward to the future. And they're like, no, you don't get to do that. This person is trying to focus on their north node and go towards their north node. Yeah, the tide reversed on this karmics or this karmic. A lot is being exposed. A lot is coming out. It has to. About how this person was unloyal, unfaithful. This Taurus energy, this is an African American man. Yep. The world was the top of the um, wheel of fortune reversed. This one. Yep. This, this, this masculine thought that he could put this empress in some type of competition with karmics, though. Not empresses against empresses, karmics against karmics. He wanted to, he wanted this empress to, to literally come off of her throne and go back and forth and. And over him because he feels like he's just that nigga and, and yeah and you know and i'm that nigga that's how he feel and so he put this empress up in competition with this karmic or karmics and it the will of fortune in the reverse it backfired like somebody is literally gonna have a live a life of poverty is what i'm getting from this they even they even um pay for spell work here with the manifestations with the um i'm sorry with the magician they did this in secret that's something that they also don't want this empress to know about, but here it is. This person paid for spell work. If they ain't paid for spell work, then they knew that it was being done. And they're guilty by uh, association. What's the outcome here, Spirit Team, for this energy for Libra? Like I said, a lot is being exposed. A lot is going to be exposed with the moon in reverse. Page of swords in reverse. Especially whoever's in this energy with this page of, that's that's like trying to watch someone. They watching you. They're trying to intervene, and all they see is that you at peace. I feel like this is this Empress energy. Yeah, they trying to watch you and, and watch to see what all you know, trying to intervene. And it's like, you can watch all you want, literally. So um, the star reversed. So the magic has wore off, and we have the lovers reverse. So, yeah, I feel like it's the person that's watching is this, this karmic female these karmic people that are involved they're they're watching and they're realizing they're getting exposed page of swords they're trying their best to intervene but we have the king of swords here this masculine could even could be being very logical when dealing with these people i also feel like um eight of swords reverse away from that there are angels that are intervening on this situation that is clearing out all of this smoke clearing up clearing away all of these illusions all right libra yeah, King of Cups in the reverse. Your person has sexual entities attached to them. This person is very highly sexual. And he, he let the karmics know that before he let you know that as his empress. He kept that from you and told that to the karmics. And now the karmics are using that to their advantage. And that's just what this person gets. This person is like, he's binding himself little by little more and more to these karmics by dealing with them. Literally. He's binding himself. He, this person is never going to heal. And like I said, this person could be facing nothing but poverty for a very long time. Alongside of these karmics. Like whatever blessings they think they have, whatever gifts they think they, they're going to have, they, it'll never be what the Empress has. It'll never amount to the Empress. Never. Anyway. We have Pisces here. What's the message of spirit team for this energy? Virgo 29. Yes, this master could be a Virgo. He has Virgo in his chart. Uh, this person definitely is getting karma. Justice is being served because they they did a lot here. This person needs to have some respect as well because they could have said that they wanted you to have an abortion, but they didn't say that shit to your face. They kind of said that shit behind your back uh, amongst these karmics. Everything is done behind your back, Empress. Everything. Okay? This person just really wants control over you. And they don't have that. They know they're the father of your child. This person wants to have two people. They want to constantly put you in two situations. Because not only because it does something for their ego. Makes them feel like they're in control. And they have a God complex. But because um, this person is suffering from their addictions. Their addictions run their life. They have no control. No control over their addiction, uh, 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 um, addictions. 
And these karmics are having a field day with this person. Yep. Close this out. Ooh. <laughs> and Aries can be involved. Oh, this masculine has Aries in his chart as well, too. He has a sex addiction. A Scorpio, this masculine could be a Scorpio, have it in his chart. He has a sex addiction. 11, 11, divinely guided. Our angels are watching a fucus. This person could also have a fucus in their chart. The initial M is significant. First, middle, or last. This masculine is two-faced. This person has women qualities, especially when he's in that two, that king of cups in the reverse Libra. Oh, hell yeah. This person has like a lot of women qualities. They gossip and they talk and they, oh, this is a pussy. Okay. Especially when, when they, when them karmics put him in that king of um, cups in reverse and in that uh, king of swords reverse energy when he's a beta male. Oh, all this person wants to do is argue and fight with you, Libra. All this person wants to do is talk about you, Libra, like a woman. They argue you down probably like, oh my God. <laughs> But yeah, this person is exposed. You see them for who they really are. That's another reason why they'll never stop attacking you. So thank you all so much for the love and support. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you feel need be. I am available for personals. And make sure you guys are taking good care of yourselves. Until next time, bye.